Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of the amazing tennis podcast. Today we have a special guest <laughs> and somebody that is going to be with us more and more um, in this podcast. Um, this is Jose Camacho. Did yep. I say that correctly? Pretty good. Yes. Pretty good. 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 I'm doing great. And believe it or not, he's the one that came up with my podcast oh, yeah. name. Yes. Yeah, so this is the man <laughs> behind the name. Um, so we've been working together for the last how many months? I'd say five, almost five months. Five months. Um, and uh, he's been great with just helping out in the tennis court, but also off the tennis court where he's, um, he's very creative. He has a creative side. Uh, he comes up with new ideas, like he came up with the name. And he also came up with an idea to join in, in the podcast. I'm like, okay, let's try it. Why not? Because I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. You know, instead of just me talking, sometimes we're gonna have conversations where he's gonna ask me questions too, and maybe we can, you know, he can make these conversations a little bit lighter because I'm too serious, as he always says. Um, so I have to make it more fun. So we'll see how this is gonna work. Um, but yeah. Without further ado, Jose, please, can you tell the audience a little bit more about you? Yeah, well, first of all, it feels amazing to hear you compliment <laughs> me. Like, it's unreal. Like, it, it feels incredible because it doesn't happen too often. Um, but no, um, it's been, I mean, it's, it's crazy to feel like it's been five months. It, it felt like more uh, because we've done so much, so many hours on court and with lessons and the summer camp and uh, everything we've done like these, these last few months, it feels definitely more time. Um, but I think it, it's been great. Like, I've, in, at least on my side, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, it's been a great experience because we've, I think we've complemented each other in a, in a good way uh, on and off the court because we have such different personalities that um, we both learn from each other a lot. You know, I've, I've, I've learned so much from you in terms of the tennis world, everything basically, and in terms of coaching and, and learning how to treat, deal with kids, uh, different personalities, how to get the best out of each person, uh, how to learn from each, each student and everything. Um, and I've brought a lot of happiness into your life, you know, <laughs> emotion and uh, positivity. just positivity. Yeah, but um, it's been really great. It's been an honor, like knowing you for these months, and uh, I've enjoyed every single moment. And I think we're, it's really exciting. I think that's the word. I'm, I'm really excited to everything that's coming and everything you're coming up with, because uh, I've been a lot of the things that we're doing. I've wanted to do them, but I never had like the drive to do them myself. And now it was like uh, I met you, and it's we're kind of mixing um, and and putting things together and in place, so it's great. Yeah, I, I think that everything in life happens for a reason and that, you know, you came at the right time where I'm also at the point where I was looking outside the box, you know, like not just teaching tennis, but doing these other things and things are kind of coming together. We'll see where they're gonna lead us, you never know. Um, but can you tell us like, who, who Jose is, yeah, like absolutely. how old are you, where are you from, what are you doing besides working with me? Yeah, uh, well I'm 22 years old, I know I look younger. I thought you were 21. No. Okay, See good, good to know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm 22, um, I'm from Mexico originally, uh, close to Mexico City, and I've always played a bunch of sports, like I grew up playing uh, soccer, I played a, like a pretty high level in Mexico. Um, I was dealing with like some some like minor injuries, but um, that really showed me that I didn't have that much passion for for soccer because I played all my life. But I really wanted to come to college to the U.S. Like that was a big goal for me. Uh, so I picked up golf when I was 15, and I wasn't playing that much soccer. Uh, a friend introduced me to to golf, and I I wouldn't say I really fell in love with the game the same way that I'm in love with tennis now. But I'm so competitive. I I saw an opportunity to get better at a sport and get uh, a possibly a scholarship and and be able to play uh, for a college team in America. So I started when I was playing when I was 15 and played like every day. I quit school and I did like an exam, a GED exam to just finish my high school and played so many hours a day. I improved quickly and I spent one year in uh, my sophomore year of high school in Tampa in Satterbrook. I have one of your guests worked there. So it's really, it's, that's where Andy Roddick went uh, to school. So um, I went there for a year, improved a lot more. And then I got um, an offer to play for Kaiser University in West Palm Beach. So yeah, it was so exciting. You know, the whole recruiting process, it was so exciting. I played two years for them. And they were amazing. You know, it was it was such a fun experience, like being away from home, uh, uh, just having the freedom to to do things on my own, but also keep the discipline to be on a team. I think that was really good. Uh, so yeah, I played two years for them. It was again the the tournaments and the competitive side was amazing. 
but I never, I, I think I, I found something in tennis that I didn't have in golf before, and it was a passion for the actual game. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In golf, the relationship with golf now it's still great. Like I still love, I love the sport, but I don't know if I, have, I love it enough to the point of I want to do that the rest of my life, right? Because I've always grown up like with movement and intense sports. Tennis has given me that, so I think that's that's a big thing. And yeah, so I played two two years for them, and I really wanted to do engineering. Uh, as you know, I'm crazy about the environment, so I decided to do environmental engineering in FAU. Um, and so I transferred. I transferred and, and started uh, last semester in FAU. I'm playing club tennis there now, which has been the best thing that's ever happened to me. So yeah, that's a little my story. Yeah, I feel like there's so much more into with your story, but yeah, you're probably the most, how would you, how would I put it? You need to help me, environmental conscious okay. person yeah. that I've ever met. You know, like he doesn't let me like use, like even when we're like getting stuff for summer camp is like, don't buy plastic, don't do this. Or I was like getting the balls out the other day. He was rearranging it, but I'm getting better. I think it's yeah, the small changes. It starts with one person, right? I agree. Yeah, and if like for sure. everybody like makes these little differences, it's gonna make a for sure. big difference in the world. Have for you sure. always been like that with the environment? Yeah, big time, big time. My mom is like, I was like, well, I'm gonna you talk. You were raised like that. Yes, exactly. And my mom is the most amazing woman I think in the world. Like she's really incredible, and uh, she raised us just learning how to respect the environment the same way as we respect other people. Um, and I think here in America, it's crazy. Uh, there's still the like the lag of the like environmental mm -hmm. consciousness. Uh, and she we always raised just the recycling and separating everything. Uh, so I, at home, I live with myself, and I have like a plastic container, a soft plastic container. Uh, like yeah everything everything so it's yeah i mean it's really normal for me so now it's coming to a country which people don't have that much education in that certain area mm -hmm. it's crazy you know so it's sometimes i'm i'm blown away i bring my own fork to chipotle i do think yes. that people think they're so weird but for me i'm like so normal you know yeah so, yeah. yeah but but that's good i guess so the topic of the day of this podcast uh we decided today we're going to talk about work life school work balance I mean, this is this is one of the reasons why I started a podcast. Actually, it's to talk with different kinds of people and get their perspectives, how they find balance in life, and mostly successful people. You know, like what they've done throughout the years um, and what they're doing now to find that balance. So it's not just work; it's not just this, but but they're still successful in what they do, right? But like how they balance it all out. Mm -hmm. And so far, I don't know, I had like six, seven interviews and it's, everybody has a different thing. Right. You know, it's, and it, to me, it's really interesting to talk about that and to think because I feel like everybody, everybody, you're successful, you're an entrepreneur or, or you're not, it doesn't matter. Uh, everybody's kind of trying to find that balance in life. Don't For you sure. think so? Yeah. Like, and so it's like, but everybody is also different. So there is no like one answer. Like we have to like figure out what is the best for us. Right. How do we find that? But like, where do you even start? Like, how do you find that? Like, maybe you try different things to see if this works for you or if this doesn't work. I don't, I don't know, what do, you, what do you think about it? I feel like it's a topic that you can talk about it a lot. Yeah, in a yeah. lot of different ways. Of what do you, so right now, like, what do you do? Let's talk a little bit about what you do in your life, like, and how you balance everything out, and, and then I'll talk a little bit right. about it. Also. Well, first of all, I think it's, a, it's this, uh, like, when we decided that we were going to do this topic, I thought it was going to be great, because we're, in, we're, we're not that far apart in age, you know what I mean? But we're still in completely different lifestyles. We're, we're pretty far. Eight years, yeah, Eight my, years like, my sister's. 12 years old, you know what I mean? Like in my mom's, like I'm talking about like in certain points of our life sure. where okay. it's, it's eight years in general is not too much, but we have completely different lives, right? So yeah. I'm, I'm in a part of, I'm still a student, right? I'm still in school. Uh, I'm working, but I, I'm not in an age that I'm full-time working, right? So I still have like a college life and you're in a, in a different spectrum in which you already have kids, a family. So we're living completely different lives. And I think this is a great conversation to have because it, it really, we can talk to a different type of people um, from college students or even high school students that are playing sports, that are studying, but then uh, people your age or even older that are, have to balance kids, work, uh, and yeah, Business. businesses, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> okay, so. Uh, <laughs> work is business, never mind. Okay. Yeah, but um, 
So yeah, that's first. I think this is a, a great topic, and in my case, uh, I'm still trying to figure it out. Uh, is this is a topic that I really, I'm really passionate about because I'm really interested. Because of my personality, it's so hard to do because I'm so intense, and and you know this, I'm so intense that it's so easy for me to like, as they say, like put all my eggs in one basket, right? So then I find like this sport that I love is tennis, and I want to do all I want to do is tennis. Mm -hmm. So it's really easy to leave things to the side, you know. So mm -hmm. I, I start I start like. Uh, thinking in a way like, oh no, no, I gotta train and like work out and everything, and I can't I don't have time to go out, right? I, I shouldn't go out on a Friday because it's like that's not what an athlete would do, right? And with time, I think in some in some occasions, in not a very positive way, I've learned kind of the hard way that it's not healthy, right? It's, it's, you, you realize that it's not healthy to put everything in one basket. Yes, it is important to have priorities, but social life is a big part of it. Like you, you like mental health, you need that social life, right? We're as human beings, we need we need to interact with other people. Uh, of course, as I said, we, we need something that's more important in life. As long as you can keep uh, feeding from other parts and, and keeping like the the most important things, family, friends, and and all that in, in balance. I don't know how how you tackle that. No, topic. I mean, you know, okay, you're saying it's not a big difference, but in my opinion, I think it is a big difference, like eight years, because I feel like from twenty to 30, just I'm talking about my life. Right. I've changed so much. I'm a totally different person than I was 10, eight years ago, which is good. You want right. that, right? Yeah. You don't want to stay the same. I think I'm better now. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm more mature, looking at things differently. There are some things I wish that I would have done differently in your, in your, at your age. Right. It's diff, I mean, it's not different. It's still, I was, I was still in college. I was playing for the team and I want to play tennis professionally, but I was like so focused, right? Right? Like I was like you were saying, like I literally I wouldn't go out. You still do things and you're socializing. I wouldn't. Right. I wouldn't because when you want to be a professional athlete, you have to give up these things. Right. Right. That's the norm, mm -hmm. I think. But I don't think you should. Right. Okay. I don't want to like go here and like yeah. tell people, tell you know younger you know people or like athletes go out and you know do. but I wish that I relax more I wish I wish that during college I went out more right. and I did more of those things because like you said it's so so important I got burnt out really fast right. and that's why I don't think I made it in my tennis career but that's not just in college that's even before college you know before I went to college because I started playing professionally at an early age you know and even, I mean, I talked in the last, uh, in the last podcast a little bit about my story, you know, it all started when I was nine and that's when my life started. And that's why I still have it in me, that seriousness, right. you know, you always tell me like, relax a little bit, because for me, it was always like, okay, discipline, work hard. And I know you're the same, mm -hmm. right? Like in, with, with your stuff, but maybe my personality is just different than yours, but I feel I always felt like every minute that I have in my day, it has to be useful. I have right. to do something with it, right. right? If I don't, like if I have like five minutes or even now in my calendar, if I have an hour, you know, mm -hmm. off, yeah. not off, but like empty, I'm like, okay, I can fill it in with like right. what yeah, I need yeah. for my to-do list because I need to fill in this time. Right. Not like, okay, I'm gonna relax, right. you know, or like just, just be. So. I'm trying to find a balance in a way where like now I'm a mom, you know, I'm a wife. I still want to have my social life with my friends right. um, and I want to do all these things. But honestly, it's tough. Right. It's tough. So something has to, not everything is going to be how I want it to be. But the, the thing is that I have to figure out first what I want it to be. You mm -hmm. know, what is good for me? Maybe like I really love my job. So for me, that's not like something, okay, I'm working and, right, right. you know, I love it. And I'm socializing, you yeah. know, when I'm working. Yeah. So it's good. I, I get that part. I'm with my husband. I'm with my kids. I think enough. But then also, and then I try like once a week to hang out with my girlfriends or, but I try not to be too hard on myself right. because I, if I'm too hard on myself, Oh, I didn't go on a date night this week with my husband. I have to focus on a relationship, right. you know. Or I didn't take my kids to a play date with this friend. 
it's okay if I didn't do one of these things, I'll do it next week. Right, yeah. And I'm not gonna do this other thing. Right. You know, so it's, it's all about figuring out what's important to you and what your priorities mm -hmm. are, and then kind of go off on that and what makes your, what makes you happy and fulfilled, right. you know, at the end of the day, because you're living, right? You're working, yeah, you're making money, you're doing this, you're, do, you're socializing, but if I'm not happy socializing with my girlfriends, if I'm too tired from my work, right. then what's the point? Right. You know, if I'm if I'm too tired to go and work out or go on a run, like why did I do that? Why am I suffering? Right. Yeah. You know, so I mean I feel like I'm going on <laughs> off of like different subjects, but right now this is where I'm at with like my my balance. But like I'm telling you in eight years I've, I've changed. Right, yeah, absolutely. You, you change. You yeah. just, you do. You will see. You will see, you know. I mean, it's not good if you're going to have the same mindset like you have now in like right. 10 years. Yeah. It, it wouldn't be good. It means you're not evolving. I'm all about growth, personal growth, right? Like just getting better, you know, each day, learning something, even if it's a little thing. I mean, anything, learning, getting better. Um, then... It adds up. Like an audience that I think really needs to hear this, and I'm in, I'm thinking about this because of the type of kids that we coach. You know what I mean? And we have a lot of uh, kids around like the age of like 13, 14 uh, that are already starting to kind of like they, they really love tennis, right? So we have the kids that kind of go because their parents send them to a little bit, and then some that are you can we we can see the passion, right? And they love tennis, and they have like their Instagram like tennis pages, and they love to play tournaments, and they watch a lot of content, uh, and they follow you, right? And I think it's really easy to see only the things we post, how much tennis focus it is. But uh, I think what it's really important to mention is not like me that I, I know you and I know like how busy you are all the time, how you're super busy, but the amount of things that are in your in your day are super varied, varied right? So you, yes, you're like, you, you barely have an hour in the day, but it's not because you're working 18 hours a day, right? So you're working a lot, but you really, I love how you really put your time with your kids as if it was a lesson, right? Like I've tried playing pickleball with you because it's really fun and it's competitive and it's, it's really fun, but you're like, no, 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 I have, I have to do my kids. Like it's almost as if it was, as or bigger than a lesson, right? It's, you, you really, really prioritize and that's that's where balance comes in, right? So yes, uh, it's the job is important even if you enjoy it, but keeping that, uh, giving the, everything the importance that it deserves, right? Yeah. As, and, and going back to the beginning, instead of just like giving everything you have and all your time and all your energy to one thing and then you really neglect the rest of uh yeah. and then sometimes it becomes which hopefully it, it doesn't get to that point but sometimes it, you, you realize it's too late with certain things right so you you start seeing people get away from you because you're yeah. losing relationships you're not yeah. paying attention you see friends go away because things like as just as you invest money in things you have to invest time you need to invest love you need to invest uh, attention, right? And that's how relationship works. That's how family works. Everything works like that, right? If you just put a, a little bit into things and expect to get a lot back, it doesn't work that way, right? So, um, I think that's important to mention. How like the things that are you don't see on your YouTube page or your Instagram oh, yeah. page, and that's that's behind cameras and and you do a lot, yeah. No, it, okay. A few a few good points you mentioned that there. Yes, I wasn't like that before. Where like, okay, this was important to me. This I would literally just work so much. Whoever asked me for a lesson, it doesn't matter what time it is because that's the industry and that I, I, you know, it's the money and right. I, I want to do it. I'm like, okay, I'll do yeah. it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Now, even if it's the self care, I'm taking care more of myself. Right. Like I started Pilates classes, yeah. you know, okay, Monday and Wednesday, 1 p.m. It's my Pilates. So, and that's it. This is my time. Right, yeah. I don't care what it is. Yeah. Uh, what lesson? Who is asking me for a lesson? Weekends, I don't work anymore. I used to work weekends a lot. Yeah. The weekends, I don't work anymore. Well, I feel like I'm working all the time, like I'm doing something, but I'm not on the court. Right. Yeah. You yeah. know, I am Sunday mornings, the toddler class, and that's it. But I did that because of my son. I started a class because of my son and it's still family time and I just made a lesson out of it. So like now like, okay, I gotta do a better job. Like how I put everything in the calendar, this time is for this. Like you right. said, this time is for my kids. Okay, from three to five, we're going to the park, you know, but I have to be done with this, 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 and this and prioritize things. Um, we will talk about the goal setting. We'll talk about these things down the road, but I think finding balance and not 
killing yourself over because you know we get a lot of and you probably do too like when people say I don't have time right right I no they do have time it's like or even you ask me sometimes I'm like okay no because I have this and I don't even have to tell you what what I have right? but no I I can't do it at that time because it's not that I don't have time but it's not my priority then. right right this absolutely. is this and this and this is my priority so I've learned throughout the years to really prioritize myself myself so I can be good I can be then good at work I can be good at home I can be good at kids because with, with kids because if I'm not prioritizing myself and my needs then everything else goes right. off you know and you talked about friendships as you get older you'll see people like come and go honestly but the true ones will stay there right. and you will see who they are and I talked to somebody the other day some um, and she told me a very good point. We change, right? We change. Like, I'm very, like, lately, I just want positive around me. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want negativity because if I'm surrounded with, around people, they're complaining, they're just this, then you become like that. Then right. I'm, like, more tired. Yeah, you know? Like, cool. I walk out of this conversation, I'm like, uh, you know, like, I, I don't have time for that. Right. So, People will clear out, like, and it's okay that they clear out the ones that are not meant to be there because mm-hmm. then you create right. room for the right ones, right. and then you attract the right ones. They come. You you you're attracting them, right? right? Yeah. So this is happening right now in my life. Honestly, like I'm manifesting. I'm attracting these right people. Right. Uh, but before I would stress a lot that I have to be friends, oh my God, she's my friend, I know her for a long time, and I have to hang out, but then I'm like, I come home, I'm like, why? Why am I hanging out with her? Why, because she's my friend, and I have to, because we know each other for a long time, or because we have a mutual friend? No, no. Uh, That, right now, because that takes my time, I'm limited with my time, I choose who I spend my time with, you know? Even who I work with, right? Like. Uh, the people that I chose that work with me, they have to be positive right. with you. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, but you no, you see sense. you see when you start talking in the podcast, like how it's hard. I feel like to make it funny. And don't you think so? Like I can't like because we're talking about some serious subjects. Yeah. And I kind of like I don't know. Here we go. How are you gonna make it more relaxed and yeah. more funny? Good luck. Yeah, no, but that, no, those are great points. Great points. Um, and I think it's I I I thought it was really funny, like uh, interesting when you were saying uh, about balancing the work because I'm not I'm not there yet, you know. So it's funny to see you. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Like it's so hard for me to say no to a less. Like, yes. I just feel like I have to. It's like you're saying no to money. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Like, but yeah. like, like oh, that's forty bucks, man. I'm like, yeah. it's so so hard. I know. And it's kind of like a quick shout out to to the club tennis and FAU because they've like, it's it. I can't express like how um, how big uh, what they mean to me because I really found a family away from home with them. You know, it's yeah. it's amazing because I'm playing the sport that right now I love, but um, with people that just make it so fun and it's never too much pressure. It's never too serious. It's always so fun and it's. Like I, I spend four hours away from my phone without talking about any work, any you know, and you've seen it. Like something I take forever to work because I'm playing with them and the world like disappears, right? I'm I'm only in tennis practice. It, it really puts it into perspective that it's it's sometimes it feels really good to say no, right? To yeah. to like it, it's not all about work. And I'm so I'm still getting there. I'm still getting there. Um but and, sorry, but you're at a different stage, right? In your life. I feel like, and I was talking, I was talking yesterday in the podcast with someone else and I was saying how, you know, now you say actually, I was talking about you, how you're saying yes and I'm so thankful because, (laughs) because at your age or when I just started working, my first few years, I was working all the time. My schedule was like when I was working in this country club because it was from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. I had to be there. It didn't matter if I had lessons or no because I was paid per hour right. and plus the lessons. So from seven to two, then I would go back to Olympia from like three to eight or nine. Right. And I would get up in the morning. I would have a work workout from five thirty a.m. to six thirty a.m. Then literally work seven a.m. to nine p.m. Right. because 
you know, I just wanted to make the money, I wanted to work and I mean, why would I say no to a lesson, yeah. right? But, and I would still go out, I would do things, right? Because you're young yeah. and you can, but I know you have school now, it's harder to balance it out, but, but you can. Right. Right, you can. Yeah. As soon, I feel like as soon as you see that it's a lot, I feel like you will press the brakes. Yes, I feel like finding your personal like yeah balance that's the exactly. biggest thing you know because mine can be completely different from from the other like another coach or another school yeah. like it's completely different uh i i noticed on the summer when i was doing like also the, the courts and like i was doing yes. too much and i'm and like my health was being cut like i, I was exactly. feeling bad like i was I, actually my back was like killing me and i kept going right and you, but you said no after i guess i know right so yeah. I, I like again there was kind of like my mom helped me a little bit with that she was like this is too much right so this is too much uh school isn't going great like you, i'm still i'm starting to like miss class you know you can i feel like it's kind of tricking yourself if you if you say you don't really know because yeah. you know you really yeah. you really know and you can see when things are tipping out of balance even if you don't want to admit it uh yeah. because sometimes we the, the things we want are not well, exactly what's best for us right so sometimes yes. you're like no i want to like work 55 hours a, uh, a week right yeah. so i want to do so much i want to get more like or whatever it is right it can be work it can be sport or whatever but sometimes it, you have to learn how to balance, even if you want to to put everything in, in your time in one thing, right? So, yeah, great yeah. points there. You mentioned um, you mentioned at the beginning. You told me the story at the oh, yeah. beginning, and every podcast we're either gonna end up with a story or a quote, anything that was related to the topic that we talked. So, yeah. Jose has an amazing story for us. Oh uh, wait, I want to do, so we talked about this uh, and I'm talking to them, so this is kind of directed to the like future uh, plans. Now we're gonna like incorporate new ideas also based on what people mm -hmm. kind of want, right? So uh, if like, if you listen to this and, and you, you have something that you really want to talk about, you think, you think it's gonna be really helpful like, either for you or for a family member or for uh, what you're going through, uh, a topic, a question, whatever it is, I think that'll be great, right? So yeah, get definitely. people more involved. Yeah, please like write in the comments, anything, anything that we will talk about anything and everything here. Okay. What do you think women wear short socks in tennis and men wear long socks? <laughs> you see, it's so like, now we're starting to see, I see a couple, I've seen a couple women that wear long socks in tennis. Huh. It's weird, huh? Is it fashion? Because but why, like, what is the fashion? Is it the long socks fashion or the short socks are fashion? Well, okay, because of the fashion, I would say, because as a female, actually, I don't know. It's so uncomfortable, because if, if you ever like try to play a match with short socks, you get blisters every single, like. Well, what kind of short socks do you have? Maybe they have to be a little longer, because if I have short socks that are like really short, then I get blisters, but the ones that I have are not, then they're fine. I think, I don't, I don't in know. In golf, like, men and women wear short socks. Huh. And I think it is fashion related because it looks kind of weird if you wear long socks. You know, like, you know what I mean? I feel like it would look weird if men wear short socks when playing tennis. You find it weird? I wear. Are you do? I like not not every time, but like I'll, I'll wear short socks really? sometimes. Really? Yeah. I I never paid attention to that. Yeah, it's well, weird. It's um, so interesting. It's interesting, huh? Another yeah. quick, another quick one. Uh, this one just. You said up. one. No, yeah, no, but this was fast. Um, so if you have I, this uh, question was like. It's golf related, but I'm, I'm transferring into tennis. If you had like a, someone break into your house, like a, just someone like break in at night, right? And the only thing you had like next to your bed was a racket. Only thing you had to defend yourself. Okay. You think you would, you, would you do continental grip? Like to hit the person, like just naturally without thinking. Continental or, or Western? Did you just come up with this question? No, because I'm telling you. It was, continental, it was a golf, 100%. Continental, right? Yes. Because Why? the frame, you want to go with the frame. Yeah, and because the, I sure. feel like I can, like, you know, hit harder. Well, you can't hit very hard in general. Well, but the thing is, it's like, you know, Continental is like a hammer grip, you know, so it's yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm, you Because wanna, you wanna if hit, I go like this, then I, like, yeah, I can't. So I would say if you were Western, you're hitting with a string. Like, exactly. You, know I mean? you want to yeah. go for the frame. Yeah. Stuff. For sure. Wow, yeah. that's a very good question. Good question. Huh? I like that. Good job. I think I would go into that. Anyway, job. story. So this is like a little lesson. Uh, I think I saw on TikTok once, um, and it's about like this. I th I don't think it was Mexican fisherman. <laughs> but I'm from Mexico. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Mexican fisherman. Uh, so about this Mexican fisherman that meets this um, really rich guy, right? And they're on a pier, uh, and he works two hours a day, 
right? And the, the really rich guy asked him, so why, why do you work 10, 12 hours a day? If you have like a whole day, why do you work 12 hours a day or 10? And he's like, oh, well, no, well, I, I like to, uh, in the afternoon, I like to spend uh, like my afternoon with my family on the beach, right? And he's like, oh, well, that's, that's, that's just a like, terrible plan. You should like work 10 hours a day so you can uh, like get more money and then buy a second boat. And he's like, oh yeah, well, why, why would I need a second boat? Oh, because then you can sell more fish and then you can get a lot more money. But why do I need more money? Oh, because you can invest that money and then be even more rich. So like, and then what? And then when you're 50, you're gonna retire and not work. And then what? And he's like, well, then you can just go to the beach and spend the day with your family in the afternoon. And he's like, well, I can just do that now, right? So the lesson is, sometimes we worry too much about the like future uh, goals and like our, our vision in the future. We spend so little time like living on the present and really enjoying everything, thinking that the most amazing thing is coming, right, in the future. And we gotta work hard and like uh, just grind, grind, grind to get the. And when when the really amazing things really are here. And sometimes we realize that too late, right? When we're like, oh, I already, I already had so many amazing friendships. And I just, like before I was just work. So I guess it's just really living in the moment. Yes, work hard, but enjoy every single day uh, like it was your last, right? So I think, I think that's the lesson. Good job. Yeah. I like it. I mean, I just heard this 30 minutes ago. So I really liked it because it's, it makes a good point. Yeah, I mean, we have to think about the finances, especially when you have a family and then you're not just worried about yourself, right? right. You have to provide and uh, you want the best life for your kids and for your your family. So, um, but it's very important to, you know, to know when you're overdoing it and when you're not spending enough time. And just like you said, be in the moment, be present and, um, and it's gonna be great. Okay, well, I think we're gonna close off with that. I hope you enjoyed this podcast and this episode. If you did, please write in the comments. Thank you for listening. Bye. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support the podcast, please share it with others, post about it on social media, or leave a rating and a review. To catch all the latest from me, you can follow me on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok at Tennis with Emma. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.